Just a few weeks ago, in the state of Indiana, Christmas time was fastly approaching. And if there is one thing that everyone at Eastern can agree on without getting into a massive argument or a huge fight, it's that Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Everyone has something special planned. The art club paints beautiful festive pictures. The key club works on Operation Shoebox in order to make sure every kid has something special for Christmas. The poetry club reads poetry. Yep, everyone at Eastern loved Christmas. Well, except one person. Meet Scrooge. Bah! A high school senior who hates Christmas. But no one quite understands why. But if everyone was sure about one thing, it's that Scrooge absolutely despised Christmas. Hi, Scrooge. Merry Christmas. Bah humbug. See what I mean? But little did Scrooge know, today is the day where his entire outlook on Christmas would change forever. Now, off to Jag class we go. Away! Okay, everyone. Today we are making Christmas cards to send to the nursing home. Yay! Oh no. Well, old people, I bet these cards are gonna brighten their spirits. Scrooge, go get some construction paper and make a card. No, I don't think I will. That's nice, but I'm not asking you. It's for the nursing home that's full of lonely old people. Plus, you're getting a grade on this. Well, then I guess I'm failing. Scrooge. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't get what's so great about Christmas. Did he just say? I. he did. Come on, everyone gets so entangled in all this Christmas stuff. All you do is sing, 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 sing. And then in the end, you all feast on this big Christmas who roast beef. Why is he quoting Dr. Seuss? I don't know. Because I am that fed up. That's it? For kicking a chair, you get a lunch detention. Scrooge did it. He got himself a lunch detention. Sent to the classroom of Mrs. Bartlett, where all the naughty kids go. Scrooge, I will be right back. Yep. <sighs> oh, this ridiculous Christmas stuff. Bam. What? Oh, gee willikers! There is a giant, glowing man in front of me! It is I, Mr. Marley. Mr. Marley? But you're supposed to be dead! I am dead. By the way, did you ever finish that science report? Of course I didn't. And you wonder why you're flunking out. Just look at me, Scrooge. You're... you're covered in chains, Mr. Marley. That's right, Scrooge. It is my punishment. I live my life as a privileged science teacher here at this school. I lived like a king, but I treated others lower than myself. I picked favorites, and I turned the other way when students pleaded for help. And look where it got me. I'm cursed to carry these chains for eternity. And if you keep walking down the path you're on, then you'll end up like me. What? You're pulling my leg! You always were a jerk, but you didn't have to come back from the dead to scare me! I'm not here to scare you, I'm here to warn you! 
But if I can't get you to listen, maybe they can. They? Who's they? Today, you shall be visited by three ghosts. If they can't help you, then you are doomed. Wait! Ghosts? Goodbye, Scrooge. Wait, Mr. Marley! What about the ghosts? That would be me. <coughs> Whoops. Did I scare you? No! I, I, I just... I just like screaming. Oh, good. I like to scream, too. See? Who ah! are you? Oh, yes. Introductions. The name's Ghost of Christmas Past. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Here's my card. Ghost of Christmas Past. PhD? I specialize in looking into yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before that. And the day before... Okay, okay, I get it. But what do you do? Talk about long past or something? No, more like your past, Scrooge. How do you know my name? I know everything about you, pal. Even why you hate Christmas so much. I bet you do not. I bet I do. You hate Christmas so much because every year your mom and dad would work at their jobs and wouldn't return until the evening hours of December the 25th. So you've associated the holiday with loneliness. I... I... Uh, that's not true! Yes, it is, and I'll prove it. Where are we? Wait a minute. That's my house! That's right, Scrooge. This is your past. And you're about to wake right about... Now. It's Christmas! That's me! As, as a kid! What kind of trick are you pulling on me, your ghost? My friend, I'm a lot of things. A joker is not one of them. Hooray! Hooray! It's Christmas! Mommy! Daddy! It's... it's... Uh, hello? Hello? It, it's a note. A note from Mom and Dad. Dear Scrooge, we are working again this year. Sorry, kiddo. Hopefully we can get together next year. Love, Mom and Dad. I remember this day. It was the worst Christmas of my life. It was also the day you started hating Christmas. How do you know that? I told you. I know every little detail about your life. Every Christmas you loved and hated. Oh, spirit, you've had your fun. I've seen enough. Yeah, it looks like that time, too. Got to get you back in time to meet the other guy. Other guy? Wait, Mr. Marley said something about three ghosts. Oh, no, 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 I am not doing this. <laughs> you don't have a choice, Scrooge. Well, it was nice meeting you. Merry Christmas. Why? I'm back. Back in Mrs. Bartlett's classroom. Spirit! Spirit, where are you? The first ghost is no longer with us. Now you get to hang with me. Well, where are you? I don't see you. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. I'm in some place new. You're outside in the hallway, aren't you? Okay, this is just silly. I'm the ghost of Christmas present. Yeah, whoa, incredible. You know, your partner in crime just got done telling me my life story and why it sucks. Well, you're in luck. Earlier you learned about yesterday, but now you learn about today. And don't be too excited about walking because we're staying in school. Oh, joy, my most favorite place in the world. I know. Now let's go. Come along. Uh, don't touch me. Now, with my magical torch, we go. Let's take a tour of our wonderful school. Hey, this is that media room. Exactly. Now let's listen in. I'm Sam Mitchell, and this is Thundercast. Today, 
Greg, you'll be talking about a Christmas special at Eastern Green, and this is sure to be a big one. Let's meet our guest. It is Miss Mitchell, who is also my mom, the eighth grade English teacher. How are you doing? I am doing great. So first question, what does Christmas mean to you? So Christmas to me means getting together probably with the people that you love, like your friends and your family. A Christmas special for a Thundercast. Not a bad idea. See, Scrooge, it's all about family. Well, that's too bad because I don't have a family. Wow, you're still not getting it, are you? Fine then, let's go see someone else. Why are we here? Some people can't get home to their families, but that doesn't stop them from tending to their family here. See, look at this sweet and wonderful nurse tending to the sick. How am I supposed to know if you've got the symptoms? Yes, we sent your kid home. Because he was vomiting uncontrollably. No, I don't know if he's got COVID. So she's treating for the coronavirus. What do you want me to do about it? You know, Scrooge, I don't think you're getting this. I don't think I am either. She's not home with her family. She's here because the students and staff here are family as well. And what does that have to do with me? Family isn't defined by blood. You've had your true family the entire time. I don't know about that. You know what? My patience is about to run out. I'm going to show you one more thing. Wait, why are we using wormholes to get everywhere? There's a simple reason. Because I'm lazy. Yeah, I can understand that. Now silence, my friend, and look. All I see are my teacher in those lousy class- Ow! I said silence! Fine. You know Scrooge has always been like this, hating Christmas and everything. Yeah, you know, why don't we cheer him up with a card of his own? I like that idea. I can get some giant construction paper from the storage room. Yay! Wait, what? They are making you their top priority, Scrooge. Because they believe that everyone deserves to be happy on Christmas. Well, almost everyone. Hi there, lads! I'm not signing no cards meant for that big, fat, urban smirgin. What? Why are you dressed and talking like a pirate? I don't know. It's like a phase. You know what I'm saying? I guess. I guess what I'm saying is, why does Scrooge deserve a huge card when he acts so bitter? Because that's the right thing to do, and maybe Scrooge needs a little love. Are those tears, Scrooge? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just jacked. I thought everybody hated me. You think that because that's what you see in the world. Sure, the world's a pretty dark place, but if you look hard enough, you'll find the helpers. You stole that from Mr. Rogers. I love that show, but sadly, you'll never get that card. What? You never get it. You do something that pushes them away. What do you mean? Where am I? It's all dark. Nothing but darkness. Spirit, where have you gone? I'm right here, but you can't see me. This is the blackness of your heart, Scrooge. My heart? Please tell me what happens. What do you mean by everyone gets turned away from me? That's not my place to tell you, Scrooge. You must wait for the next spirit. And he, my friend, is not as benevolent. He is not a jokester as the previous two. I wish you good luck. Because many don't survive his company. Don't survive? Spirit! Spirit, where are you? I, I know you. You're the third spirit, the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Spirit, the last ghost told me that something happens where everyone turns away from me. Are you here to tell me why? Please, answer me. That golden door you're pointing at, 
Do you want me to go there? That's me! Is this my direct future? Scrooge, you have a visitor. Hey, Scrooge, we got you something. What is it? It's a card for you. Ooh, here you go, lad! Read it! Read it! What is this? It's a Christmas card. I thought I told you I hate Christmas! We've heard you. We thought that you might like. That's your problem! You assume what everyone likes and don't even consider what they actually enjoy. You take charge of everyone. What? You like to annoy people like mad! You just won't shut up! Well, that's not very nice. And you! What is wrong with your stupid pirate voice? I. it's just a phase. <sighs> hey, why don't you calm down? Scrooge, they're just trying to be nice. If they want to be nice and make my Christmas worth remembering, they will leave me alone! Okay then, we'll just leave. Come on guys, let's go. I told you he was bitter. I don't believe it. What happens next, spirit? Where are we? Some kind of graveyard? Oh, is that? That's right, Scrooge. It's your grave. You died on Christmas morning this year. You couldn't take the loneliness anymore. No. If only you'd accepted the gift for what it was, a loving gesture. Those poor kids wanted to help you, yet you wanted to sink further into your pit of anger. No, I can change! Oh, so now you want to make things different, after all that you've done to these poor, innocent kids. Well, guess what, Scrooge? Your fate's already sealed. No, please, I can change! I can do better! I can be better! Please give me a second chance! You think... You can write a lifetime's worth of wrongs in one day? <laughs> you are such an interesting person, Scrooge. Please, I can change! Very well, Scrooge. I will give you a second chance. But remember this. Heed the warnings of all three ghosts and accept the family that you always had. And to all you viewers out there listening to this right now, remember this as well. Kindness goes a long way. Doesn't matter who you are or where you've been. Love always prevails. If someone's having a hard day, tell them hi. Simply saying hello can go a long way for helping somebody. Always be kind. After all, isn't that one of the many things that makes Christmas special? Showing kindness? So, let's let nothing hold us back from being kind and loving to others. And now, Scrooge, for your second chance. What? What? I'm back in Mrs. Bartlett's room. Spirit, where are you? Scrooge, you have a visitor. What? Hey, Scrooge, we got you something. It's a card for you. Ooh, here you go, lad. Wow, thank you. Merry Christmas from your friends. No, we are not friends. What? We are family. <laughs> I'm just... I'm really sorry for how I've treated you. Christmas has always been the loneliest time of the year for me. But you all have shown me that I've actually had a family with me all along. I couldn't agree more, pal. Aye! The students and teachers of Eastern Green didn't understand what had happened that day. A bitter student had become filled with joy, peace, and love. But they were sure about one thing. Even if you realize it or not, kindness can go a long way. 
And so, as the ghost of Christmas past observed, God bless us, everyone. And by the way, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Thanks for tuning in for this special episode of Thundercast, one that we've not really done before. Now, a round of applause for our brilliant cast. Shane Sparks as Scrooge, Clinton Birch as Mr. Marley, Bill Valentine as the Ghost of Christmas Past, Eric Kirkendall as the Ghost of Christmas Present, Jacob Bellman as Jake, Danny Yoho as Danny, Curtis Moffat as Kurt the Pirate Kid, Teresa Bartlett as Mrs. Bartlett, featuring Sam and Mrs. Mitchell as themselves, Jamie Bellman as the Jag Teacher, Debbie Babcock as the Nurse, and BJ Yoho as the Narrator and the Ghost of Christmas Feature. All music was composed by Jason Shaw, while all the sound effects were created by various artists, including Inspector J, IWI, and Tyra Kamori. Thank you so much for listening to this special episode of Thundercast. We hope you really enjoyed it. And from your family at Thundercast and at Eastern Green, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And, of course, let's not forget... Thanks for joining us on this episode of Thundercast. Please tune in for our next episode coming very soon. If you have any suggestions or comments, please email us at thundercast at egreen.k12.in.us. You can subscribe to hear every episode of Thundercast on iTunes, Google Play Music, and Podbean. All content in this podcast is property of Eastern Green School Corporation and may not be used without express written permission. All rights reserved.